What's up, y'all? This your boy, R.K. Pop, back at it again. What's up? You know me, chillin' chillin'. <laughs> Today is Tuesday. What a boring Tuesday, to be honest with you. But, I had uh, one of my OGs. One of my OG subscribers was like, hey man, why don't you uh, show us uh, your NECA collection? You know, that would be a cool video. Yo, Ray, it's dedicated to you, man. It's your video, bro. Uh, Mr. Ray McCreary was like, man, show them bad boys up. I said, bro, we're going to have to do this in portions. <laughs> I buy one maybe two figures a week um so i'm getting pretty up there i got i got neckers and i got non neckers but they still look amazing like so why wouldn't i grab these but i am going to show off all my neckers so we're going to start with uh part one this is going to be part one and if you can see on top of that shelf I have what? 11 more, 10 more. On my other wall, I got another four. I got one that I just picked up this week I haven't showed off yet. That's, that's gonna be the finale though. So, and I'm also gonna show one pop. So, and the, the pop that I'm gonna show is gonna be either a pop ride or a 10 inch that I like. Or it could be the big old 18 inch that I haven't even revealed yet. You never know. You never know. But we're going to start with our neckers. Okay, we're going to start with our neckers. I don't, none of these are cracked open. None of these, the, se the seams are still in uh, perfect condition. I have not even dared to even open one of these. So anyway, we're going to start with the small one. And then I'm going to work up to the my favorite one of this group okay so well we're gonna do two of my favorites one in this group so we're gonna do three regulars and then two of my favorites on this group okay so first I'm gonna start with the pop ride that I think it's amazing hands down amazing so it's that good old ice cube and you know he's in his six foot and pilot. This pop is totally amazing. Let's see if you can see it inside there. Totally amazing. I've got I got this pop. I think a month earlier than anybody else. And that's only because I had a friend to help me out. And here it is. You, you see his shirt? His bandana. Nice. Love this line. I loved it. I loved it a lot. And the PPG value right now is not too bad on it. I don't want to put this on the floor at all. I'll put it back over here then. And... All right, and then we're gonna start with the smaller one. All right, this is the Michael Myers Tony or Tony Terrors. This came out of a Don't Eat the Gum box. I believe it was a fifty dollar box, but the details on this is amazing too, and because they made it cartoonish, and I like it a lot. All right. So retail for these are like 13, 15 bucks. But the longer you keep it, I think it's gonna be worth a little bit more and more as we go. All right, the second one is the Terminator Judgment Day, the T8, the T800. I have got, I got, I believe I got this from 
a friend of mine. I know, as a matter of fact, I know I got this from a friend of mine, Mr. Jonathan Price. The details on this is amazing. The shotgun. This metal face. Some glass face. The gun. This backpack and stuff. He looks just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ain't even gonna lie to you. He looks just like him. Amazing. Here's the side of the box. Front of the box. Other side. And the back of the box is how you can. They want you to display him if you do display him, but you can display him any way you want. He looks amazing. I love this a lot. <clears throat> and and NECA with these are thirty dollars and up. I ain't even lie to you. With thirty dollars and up. Depends how older it is, how much older it is, it could be more valuable, more valuable, more valuable. So just to let you know that uh, naked does get expensive, really expensive. So yes, so that's the second neck I got here. My third one. Also came from Mr. Jonathan Price, and when I started NECA collecting, I started just buying one, buying one a week, buying one a week. But then I started pulling them out of mystery boxes. So then I just stopped buying them for a while, and then fans started sending me stuff too. So this is. The Garzilla, the return of Garzilla, the legend is reborn. Okay, I actually like this one a lot as well. Now, if you take this out, you see his tail sitting back there, but you see the details into this. Like, it's not no joke. Like, I'm, I'm getting up close here, and you can see a lot of it. Really nice side of the box, back of the box, side of the box, but look I was saying, these, you know I, I haven't opened them, I, I, ain't no point, to me there's no point to open these, I like mine and the box is minty, minty, so alright, so that's my third one. My fourth one is is one of my favorites, and if you guys know, I've pulled this guy's signature as well. So I have a two-piece combo to go with this. So here we go. This is Sam, trick or treat. The details on this guy. Look at the lollipop. Look at his clothes. His hands, his sack, and we ain't talking about that sack either, guys. Come on, let's keep it fresh here. <laughs> Check that out, side piece. Side piece, and this is a NECA figure as well. Just to let you know. Some people will be like, "Oh, there ain't no NECA," but it is right there. Check that out. That out right now this I pulled out of a don't eat the gum hundred dollar box if I remember correctly but you know I, I can't remember crap so I'm gonna leave it at that see his eyes. Looks cool. <laughs> Looks amazing. I love it a lot. And for our grand finale of the night, this is I love I love this figure. I love this actor. I love these movies. Even you know it ain't just one actor. There's like a couple of them. 
I did these movies, but Halloween is one of my favorites. And here's what we got. Here we go. We got that NECA Halloween 2. Check that out. Check that out. Now look at his hands. The bottom, scalpel, hammer, knife. And then the shoes. The shoes is what gets me. Cause the shoes look just like the shoes he had in the background. Fire. This is a fire figure. Here's the side profile. If we let you see it. Well, maybe it's that stupid. Or it's probably too foggy or something like that. Something really bad. All right, and then the back piece. the other side but what gets me is like if you watch this movie look at these two faces do they not look just like him all oh, the bullet holes on the suit come on can't make a bigger better figure than that but what goes with this is like my favorite favorite and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is one of my favorite favorites. And this is why I chose this today as my, my top dollar with the gold flea cow. It's just to show you guys this as well. All right, here we go. Boom. Now, this is signed by Nick Castle himself from Halloween 1. Amazing. So it goes with my Halloween stuff. And yes, I don't buy nothing unless it's back and certified. Don't give a crap what you got for me. If you ain't back it up, I ain't messing with you at all, bro. At all. There's no point. Like I said, you can you can put your own CO COA on crap. Doesn't make it happen. You feel me? So anyway, that is the video for today. Always remember in this channel, you guys, what we do. One time. We have love. We share love. And by all means, we give love. This is your boy, R.K. Pop. And we out, y'all. <laughs>